In this video, I will show you how to turn Mixamo generic animations into humanoid ones and how to customize them and teach you what you can do with them. If you're interested in learning how we imported the generic animations, check out the previous video, link down below in the description. If I go to our warrior and select the model, and here we we'll go to rig, you can see it says generic, avatar definition, no avatar, where it says animation type. We're gonna click here and select humanoid, and then you'll get an avatar definition. You can choose create from this model or copy from other avatar what you want to do is create from this model unless you want to use another model's avatar so create from this model and we click apply and now if we open this it actually added this avatar here which you can also select and you can configure it but you don't need to so let's go back to Vorio. now we have a human and avatar and now if we do play let's go to scene you will see that the generic animation still plays and this is because we didn't apply the avatar yet so now all we did is change the rig model to humanoid but if we go now to Vorio and here where it says avatar we select the Vorio avatar you can see you get this warning some generic clips animate transport sets are already bound by human node avatar and now if we try to play because we have an avatar you can see it's completely messed up it's just stuck and doesn't know what to do even though if you go to his animator the Vorio rider is actually playing and this is because we didn't change the animation types yet so let's stop this and go to project animations select those animations and here we go to rig and where it says animation type we need to change this to humanoid and where it says avatar definition this time we're gonna do copy from other avatar the source will be warrior avatar and then you need to make sure to apply and now it should work fine now as you can see it works fine but it's a little bit off so if you don't need a more control it's not better but it's more simple to use uh, generic animations like on those two models but now as you can see because it looks like this we can go to our animation warrior rider and when we go to animation we can see we have all those uh, new options here i'll show you actually let me change this to generic again and click apply and now you see it's stuck because now yes an avatar and an avatar requires a humanoid type animation so let's go to warrior rider and i wanted to show you that if you go to animation you don't have all the options that we saw in the humanoid option so let's go to rig again select humanoid select the warrior avatar and apply and now the animation is fixed kind of and if you go to animation we have all these new options Options. so what they do root transform rotation will basically allow the animation to access and be able to change the rotation of the root transform which is if we go to here which is this it will actually allow it to change it by a lot so let's go to animation again and let's do bake into pose and see what happens apply you see not, not much changes but what we can do now is change the offset so let's say we do minus 20 7.56 and click apply you can see now it changes so now it's more in front of the camera so you need to play around with the offset to get it in the right position here you have two options body orientation and original and what it does is basically lets you choose around which type of faxi it will rotate the offset so if you do original and click apply you see it's a bit more to the side because original adds the offset that's the auto of the animation already set in the base animation while while body orientation will just uh, rotate around the forward vector of the character so let's go to body orientation and click apply and let's say we do this at minus 24 maybe then we have root transform position y which will affect the y position of the root transform which is the hips as i showed you and if we make this into pause and click apply see not much changes but if we change the offset to minus 1.3 you can see it goes up so let's return this to zero and here again you have original center of mass and fit which is basically from where you want to change him so if we do fit and then change it you can also see down here where it's gonna end up so it goes up and center of mass again so minus 0.83 center of mass is gonna be like this original is gonna be like this and fit and original seems to be the same let's keep it at original and that zero and click apply and then we have root transform position xz which will basically allow him to change the x and z position of the root transform which is the hips so if we back this into pose you can see not much change we can see it better on the run and the walk which i'm gonna show you soon and here you have center of mass and original and you see here you don't actually have offset 
it but you can see how it moves a little bit here again original will uh, just bake into this uh, transform the, what the auto of the animation is already set in but it's fine to keep it at center of mass and the loop match means if it's green it means that uh, it is recommended to apply it if it's red then it says it's not recommended and if it's yellow then it means uh, check whether or not you want to but you don't always have to listen to it because maybe sometimes you want something different or a different result so by playing with those uh, options you can get uh, different results with the same animation and here we also have uh, mirror you see now it's uh, with the x on the back hand but if we do mirror and apply now the x is in the front so let's disable mirror and apply remember you always need to apply in order for the changes to take effect so now let's go to animator and let's set run as the default state and and as you can see now his run is actually messed up so let's go to run and see why he runs like this if we apply back into pose root transform rotation and apply now you can see he runs a little bit better so again i'm gonna show you if i disable this his legs go from side to side if i enable this now his legs go just like they should and maybe we need to apply a little bit of offset like two or maybe ten and now it's more in front of the camera not in front of the camera but in front of us in the scene view let's also bake this in and let's you can see now it's also more stand up and runs a little bit uh, better this animation looks much nicer than what it was without those two so let's check this again and here's the difference between with and without bake options and now since we didn't choose in place once we if I do x and z so if i click apply you can see it starts messing around from side to side which is clearly not what we want so let's disable this and apply and one more thing you can do with an avatar defined in a human head animation is if you go to warrior and apply root motion you can see it starts going and if we look at him he just keeps going and now if we change this to either the idea will be in the new position and not next to our uh, other two characters and the reason is because this is what root motion does it allows the root motion to change the position of the character in the game without you having to do it through the script but it also means that you have less control over it so if you want to change the position through the script then you need to make sure that supply root motion is disabled so now if we do this and then do run again you see he runs in place so let's stop playing so he returns to the original place and let's rotate our view and now we can also let walk and you can see it works to the side so let's fix this walk we have all the matches click apply now it works a little bit better but we need to fix the offset of the rotation so let's do minus 20 maybe minus 25 and this looks uh, decent enough so let's leave it like this and as you can see now everything works with a humanoid animation so basically humanoid animations are good if you want to apply root motion or customize your animations and generic animations are good if you're looking for quick and simple animations let's also change the other two characters animation types to humanoid first we need to change the model so let's go to paladin model rig humanoid create from this model so it will create a new avatar for him apply and now when you open you can see this uh, model now we can go to animations select all of them animation type humanoid copy from other avatar and select the paladin avatar and apply and now if you go to animator and paladin and let's click play go to scene you can see nothing works because we didn't add an avatar in the avatar so let's stop playing click this uh, circle click paladin avatar now let's play again and you can see animation works but it looks weird so we need to fix it let's go to paladin either animation we have loop matches on all so let's select them all and apply and we need to set an offset so minus 23 maybe a little bit more let's do minus 31 and this looks nice enough let's see how def looks and this is how the def animation is gonna look now and we went a little bit back so maybe we need to fix def too or it's fine if it's like this but you can also do let's see how it looks with rotation and this is how the def animation is gonna look now okay rotation so it does to the side if we only do y and this is how the def animation is gonna look now now he actually dies on the floor so we need to back into pose the y and if we also do x and z and this is how the def animation is gonna look now this messes it up so unless we actually want it we don't need it i think this looks uh, nicer so i'm gonna leave it like this so let's go to animator and now check the upward slash you can see now it's 
kind of weird because it wasn't looking like this so let's do upward slash without the transform rotation looks weird and with it it looks a bit better with the y2 slightly better and with the x and z it actually manages to do it a little bit more and also we need to change the offset now it looks fine let's also check this slash okay this looks completely weird so let's fix this as you can see it's kind of tedious work to fix those uh, human animations so if you find with the generic ones it's better to keep with them if you just want simple animations but if you want more control this is how you do it so let's continue doing it if we back on the rotation let's see what happens okay looks nice enough let's change this to minus 23 actually it was minus 30 something if we also apply y it's gonna look like this and x and z with everything applied it looks better and the final animation we need to check is the spin attack which is the best way to see the difference between all the bake into roots stuff so let's set this at default layer let's go to the spin attack so here as you can see it does kind of a slash to the side but if we back into pause rotation suddenly it does a spin if we disable this it does some kind of slash attack if we do y doesn't really affect it and if we do x and z without rotation it does this weird thing but if we do both root transform x and z and root transform rotation even though it's not loop match you can see now it actually does the spin forward like we downloaded instead of spinning in place same as it did in the generic one so if we disable this and do it spins in place if we enable both, it spins forward. Maybe a little bit less offset makes it nicer. If we disable this and enable X and Z, as you can see, this is just completely weird. But without both, we can actually copy this out as separate animation and then have it like this as a second animation so we can get like multiple animations from the same animation clip if we want to because now it's in humanoid just like we saw on the warrior let's go to either and now let's do paladin apply root motion and if we do the spin attack now you can see it moved forward and if we go back to either so it actually goes back interesting so let's see what happens if we if we actually disable this okay so as you can see this was the problem with the root motion it's because if we bake it into pose, if you want to root motion to be applied, then you need to make sure that uh, what you want to be applied is not bake it into pose. Because if you bake it into pose, then it takes control over it instead of letting the root motion to control it. Let's uh, cancel plane and play again. And now one more thing I wanted to show you is with the spin attack. So as you can see, the spin attack goes forward and spins the sword. But if we do mirror, you can see some really nice nice trick now if we do mirror on this and apply and now jump to this state you can see now he actually spins with the shield so from this spinning sword animation we actually made a spinning shield animation just by applying mirror so we can have like three different attack types from this animation if we copy it out and set the different settings so let's cancel this Go to Paladin, disable apply root motion. Go to project, Paladin spinning, disable mirror and apply. And the last one we didn't change yet is the Amazon animations. So let's go to Amazon, click the model, go to rig, go to humanoid. Now here, let's see what happens if I do copy from other avatar and choose, let's say the warrior avatar and apply. And then go to Amazon and choose the warrior avatar. And as you can see, no avatar applied here. Let's also change the animation types in animations in the rig from generic to humanoid copy from other avatar select warrior avatar and apply you can see you get the avatar configuration mismatch transform hierarchy does not match so let's see what happens if we try to play you can see she gets stuck because it's not the same settings even though she has everything else properly set up but if we create a new state and here we're gonna add a, a warrior rider then set this as default layer you can see now she became like him and the avatar got configured and she became much thinner and much taller and the animation works so basically what you do with copy for mother avatar is you give them the same configuration as the avatar that you used and you can use the same animations on this uh, other model so let's say i also gonna add another state and choose uh, let's say warrior run then set this as default you can see the run actually works but obviously this is not what we want although we actually got kind of a nice unexpected result we got some tall scene amazon instead of a little bit shorter amazon which i guess is kind of a way to play around and get different results from the same things without having 
having to find the completely new stuff but let's start playing this and delete those new states and do it properly now she returns to normal so let's go to amazon select her and here in avatar definition choose create from this model and apply and now you can see in the arrow she has her own avatar let's also not forget to click here on the amazon and change this to amazon avatar and if we try to play now it will not work as you can see and the reason it doesn't work is because we didn't change the animations so let's select them and go to rig keep it at copy from other avatar but in source we now choose amazon avatar and apply and now if we play something is weird let's stop playing that the idol is the default and the amazon has amazon avatar applied so why doesn't it work okay now it works all we needed is to stop playing and reapply it let's go to scene again so let's fix the idle animation maria idle go to animation we have all the loop matches so let's select them and click apply let's focus on the amazon maybe give it a little, little bit of offset so minus 11 this looks nicer let's go to animator and check the jump now as you can see this is a one-time thing so it's gonna be kind of weird to keep checking it so what we can do is while we're testing so this is default layer but go to project maria jump enable loop time apply so we can adjust the animation without having to always uh, jump to stage we bake everything into pose let's see what happens it looks nicer maybe just apply a little bit of rotation and now let's be happy with the animation we can disable loop time and go back okay this is fine let's set this as you can see the kick actually was supposed to be a spinning kick but because we don't have rotation applied it doesn't work so let's go to maria kick let's see what happens if we only apply y she kicks to the side without it it's kind of the same x and z she kind of messes up and would transform rotation and there we go we have the spinning kick and if we enable everything you can see now it works fine maybe again apply a little bit of rotation there we go and if we want to just keep playing it while we're testing just enable loop time and remember to disable loop time once you're done uh, customizing so apply now it stops now let's check the crouching again and here we have the crouching maria crouching we have loop match on everything let's apply them and apply an offset even more offset and this seems fine so let's return it to idle and go to warrior and make this idle as the default let's stop playing let's not forget to save 